it's author Sandra Wilson here in the Kindness Kangaroo Library for another story time session. Today I'll be reading Cutest Pumpkin in the Patch by Carly Valentine. But before I start, I want to give a huge shout out to Once Upon a Guys. This is the costume shop that I go to to find all these great costumes so that I can share these stories dressed as the book characters. So make sure you look in this description below for the Once Upon a Guys website so you can check out the costumes that they have to buy or to rent for adults, children, and even pets. All right, everybody, here we go. Cutest pumpkin in the patch. So many pumpkins in the patch. Let's pick one out and find the best match. Found the perfect one. This one is mine. We'll need to carve it, make it special, make it shine. What will it look like? Let's pick a design. This pumpkin looks very sad. Look at this pumpkin, it looks mad. This pumpkin looks scared, it's all a fright. This pumpkin is spooky, it's quite the sight. This pumpkin is silly, it has a funny face. If this pumpkin was in a contest, it would win first place. This pumpkin has excitement on its face. This pumpkin must have gotten smashed. What a disgrace. Oh no. This one has enormous eyes. This one is the very biggest in size. What will mine look like? How should it be? My favorite pumpkin face is happy. Mom says I'm the cutest pumpkin in the patch. My happy pumpkin and I made quite the perfect match. And at the end it says, how many pumpkins do you count in this book? How many different emotions did the pumpkin show? It's always kind of nice when there's an extra activity at the back of the book and then you can go back and count the pumpkins and, and do a little bit more just to enjoy the book more. Uh, so that's great. Cutest Pumpkin in the Patch by Carly Valentine. And like it said at the back of the book, it talked a lot about emotions. The different faces of the pumpkins shared different emotions. And emotions can be a great way to tell a story. It can help us connect to our own emotions or to understand other people's emotions. So I wonder if you could pick some different emotions in um, maybe ones that you saw in this book, but ones that you put in your mind and see how you could create some characters that represent those different emotions, much like the pumpkins did. And what would those characters do in your story? You know, if you've got a character who's sad and you've got a character who's happy, how can those characters interact? Does one help the other? Or does one influence the other? Um, or does, you know, do the emotions change as the story goes through? Or did they just learn to cope with their emotions because emotions just we still have to go through them and we have to understand them um, so how does your characters go through those emotions and what kind of emotions are represented in your story and uh, that's even a further way to extend the book the cutest pumpkin in the patch on top of the things that are in the back of the book for you to do as well make sure you check the description below so that you can get a copy of this book and check out all those pumpkin faces and maybe it will inspire you to create your pumpkin this year with one of these great faces all right everybody i hope you enjoyed today's story time session and i hope you join us again for our next one bye for now